Today we're taking a look at the WZ RELB 5000 watt continuous 10,000 watt peak pure sun inverter. I installed a 3000, 6000 watt in my RV. I'm really pleased with it. The manufacturers provided me this larger unit to solve another problem I have, which is powering a shed. It's remote on my property where it is not feasible to run power to it. Um, I've been using a rather small uh, 400, 800 watt um, unit from a, uh, well, I'll show, you. I'll show you where I got it. You recognize that. <laughs> it was proving insufficient to power anything more than the lights in the building. Um, I have all LEDs, and with a modified sign unit, I was getting a lot of blinking and what have you. On the pre-wire on the shed, we have an input for a generator, which I will run or have run to run big loads before. <clears throat> then we have the input for the new inverter, lights, outlets in the building. And Hansel is actually a second building. I've got another line run to <clears throat> with just lights in it. All that's being powered by this one inverter. So this unit is powered up. It's wired. I've got showing 120 volts, 12.1 in, and a little monitor. Um, to help monitor the battery when the inverter is not on um, a group 27 and group 29 12 volt battery um, powering the system so we're just going to start running a few things so leave my tv on while i'm playing in here <clears throat> so here's a drill which is a 3.2 amp load don't care about that at all wire snipper which is a Five amp load. No problem is there. I'll step up to a router, which is a eleven amp load. And a circular saw, which is twelve amps. No problem at all. The problem I was having is I like to run down occasionally with the old inverter. I could at least turn on some lights, but I really couldn't do anything else uh, without rolling out a generator, uh, even if I needed to cut a piece of wood or something. So now let's try an even bigger load. This is a 15 amp induction start chop saw. So let's see what happens. No problem at all. And here's a really big load. This is a 15 amp table saw. Let's turn it on and see what it does. Yeah, that's, that's going to be no problem at all. I'm sure my neighbor's going to appreciate me not firing up the generator and letting it warm up at some odd hour of the night when I just need to run down and cut something. Uh, that's a nice thing when I get done. I can turn on the shop back and clean up. old inverter would just scream if I ever tried to do that. So this is going to work really well for my application. 